Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I have probably one of the most awaited American SUVs on the market, the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. This is the high country trim level, one of the highest trim levels you can get. This thing's got everything you can imagine and maybe not imagine. And this thing carries a sticker price of about eighty-one to $82,000. So is it worth it? Let's take a peek at this 2021 Chevy Tahoe and see if it truly is. Now, before we get into the video, I do wanna say, if you like what you see, like and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell in the upper right-hand corner. That way you get alerts every time I release a new video. I've got a ton of stuff lined up. Something as crazy as Tahoe, maybe to something as small as a Miata, you never know. I've got it in store for you guys, okay? So again, subscribe. And also I wanna give a big shout out to Steve Raymond Chevrolet here in Smyrna, Georgia. They are the ones that lent me this brand new Tahoe. I'm extremely thankful. Thank you to DJ King. He's the one who also got me the hook up here. I'm gonna bring his information down below so that way if you guys need a brand new Chevrolet or even a pre-owned, you can take a look at their inventory. They'll be glad to help you out. Let's get to it. So let's start off with the front end of the Tahoe. This is where things get drastically different. They're going back to something that they did back in the early 2000s where the front end mimicked that of the Silverado. As you can see, you've got this LED headlight unit. You do have your running light there that also doubles as the indicator. It looks very, very sharp. You've got this satin grill here because this is the high country trim. You've got high country embossed on the front so everybody knows what you're driving. This one has the black bow tie, so that's an individual option. And then you've got your front parking sensors, and then you've got your brick for the radar cruise control on this thing. Absolutely insane. In addition to that, you do have these vents on the side that are actually fully functional. They are completely um, hollowed out, so that way you got air going through the wheels. In a car like this, it's good for aerodynamics, but it's gonna be really, really helpful if you're towing, so that way you can cool off the brakes if you're going downhill or anything like that, okay? You do have a more satin finish down here. Gives it that upscale look, because again, this is an upscale trim on an upscale vehicle. This thing looks amazing, and you do have front parking sensors as well on this car. So all in all, a really, really cool look to the front end. It just looks very mean, but it also looks way more advanced than the outgoing Tahoe did. And again, this front end is shared with the Suburban. So what you're looking at here is gonna be very common for the Suburban as well. On the hood, you see you've got this muscular strike that goes on both sides. You do have a bulge, because again, this has the bigger 6.2 V8 in it. This sucker's got a lot of power, north of 400 horsepower. I mean, shoot, this thing's got about what, 450, 460? It's got a ton of power under the hood. And this thing puts it down to the ground. Zero to 60 in these can be as low I've seen in the high fives. Under six seconds for a vehicle that weighs a few tons. <laughs> this thing is incredible in terms of powertrain. So why don't we look at the back and see what we're working with there. So now we're getting to the back of the Tahoe where everything has been refreshed and advanced, okay? For one, you have a new LED running light that is kind of T-shaped in a way, if the T is sideways. You have Chevrolet embossed into this metal finish that's inside the unit. Of course, you got your incandescent bulbs for your indicators and your reverse lights, which I'm surprised they went that direction, but they did. You have this long satin finish garnish here on the deck lid, something that looks really nice. And of course, it is gonna be on this high country trim, looks very nice. Black bow tie, individual option on this specific model, looks really good. Now, because this is a high country model, you do have these quad exhaust tips. They look very, very cool, very high end, but also just sets this thing apart in terms of that racy feel, but also that performance feel that you'd want while spending north of $80,000. Now, you've got your reflector really well integrated here. You have this satin chrome finish here that goes all the way across, looks fantastic. You've got this plastic piece down here that protects the tow kit area, so, really well integrated. And then down here you do have your parking sensors. And then make note that you have this really rugged plastic piece on the bottom of the tailgate. So that way if you're loading things, you don't have to damage anything. And then up here, you do have this huge spoiler with a third brake light integrated well. And then look at this. You don't see any rear wiper because it's actually integrated underneath here. Something I think is a big, big pro. So good job Chevrolet on this. 
So let's talk about the wheel set that's on this Tahoe. So with this high country trim, you do get these beautiful 22 inch wheels. I love what they did here. You have chrome inserts and then majority of the wheels, the satin finish. I've never seen a car company do something like that before. And it works really well here because it gives you a little taste of modern, but gives you that classic American styling that you'd expect with chrome on higher end vehicles. It looks really nice. And then you do have this plate to cover up the lug nuts for the center cap there. It just overall looks really nice. So it's wrapped in Bridgestone tires. So this thing definitely makes a statement. And honestly, I love that we're seeing a bigger wheel on this body style because I've seen Tahoe's with much smaller wheel sets and it just makes it look really short and stubby. This adds a lot of proportion to the car. So I'm very happy that they give you these giant wheel options. Good job, Chevy. So stepping into the Tahoe High Country, you want to make note you have your keyless entry on the door handle but you also have these power door steps, which are really nice. High country, as you'd see. Look at this, you got power driver's seat. Look at this interior color. Looks absolutely beautiful. The leather, very soft, supple. You have this really nice, kind of an Aztec-y vibe here for this piping. Absolutely beautiful. Leather wrapped steering wheels, you can see here. You've got this nice, finish that looks almost bronze that endorses the steering wheel it is a power tilt steering wheel which is nice you've got a lot of switch here on the side so you've got your switches for the four-wheel drive system lighting trailer brake and then as you can see all the safety features known to man including you've got your heads-up display and your electronic parking brake as well in the door card you can see you've got this nice wood finish here metal on the handle then on here you still have beautiful beautiful soft plastic it feels really really good you got storage here in the door pocket and then even more storage going down lower and a little cup holder bose audio is what's gonna sound your ears with beautiful beautiful music and then look at that high country embossed on the headrest absolutely stunning Let's take a look at the second row. Here in the second row, you're gonna notice one thing off the bat, captain's chairs, same leather, same emboss. Controls here. So of course you can press this lever here to actually release the seat and actually fold it flat. And then you have this lever that'll actually allow you to move the seat forward and backwards. This specific one has the rear entertainment. And what I was told is that you can actually screen share, meaning if I wanna show something on this screen, to that screen, I can actually slide it to them. How cool is that? Down here, you're gonna have climate controls, heated seats, automatic climate controls, and then you can see all the hookups your heart can imagine, including a household plug there. You have a large space here to put whatever you want. And then like I said, the door card mimics the front. You got that same high country embossment here those mountains look really really nice and then stepping into the rear of the tahoe power tailgate and look at this there's a lot going on back here this is a third row model so you can see here these power adjustments here so look at that right you can adjust it anywhere you want to will that bring it right on up same thing with the left hand side. Power adjusted third row in a Tahoe. Love it. And you got your releases for the second row right here. Then behind here, you got another power outlet. And then let's take a peek at what's actually underneath. So you've got a lot of space here that you can put something flat. And then you have these stainless steel guards. So that way you don't damage the vehicle if you're loading anything into this Tahoe. Very, very nice. So stepping into the Tahoe's interior, I'm gonna notice right off the bat, you still have manual gauges here, which I'm kind of surprised because this thing stickers at over $80,000 and you're still seeing manual gauges. The middle section is gonna be digital, but I would like to see the whole space digital. Here, the steering wheel, shared with the outgoing Tahoe as well in terms of shape and general style, still feels very nice. You've got the leather wrapped materials. You notice that the wood grain 
goes all the way across. And then of course you've got this touch screen. This still has the wrap on it. See that it's in demo mode. Continue. And of course you can see everything that Chevrolet has. This screen is incredibly responsive. Everybody's very familiar with it. Look at that navigation, phone. From what I was told, this is the first vehicle in Chevy's lineup, in conjunction with the Suburban, of course, and the new Trailblazer to actually have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, really well done there. The dash is actually leather wrapped, so you got leather here and on the dash. And then look at the transmission style. So it's a little bit different, okay? So you have your park, reverse, you actually pull towards you, neutral is a physical button, and then drive, you pull towards you, and then of course, You've got your manual shifters there and L for low gear. Down here, you have your digital output for the temperature readout. Plastic knob, but it still feels really good. It almost feels rubbery, so it might be a rubber knob. Same deal with the volume knob, tuning knob, and then you've got your standard previous and forward tracks, home button, and then your climate controls. Here, rear climate controls if you want to access those, and then you do have heated and cooled seats here. In addition to that, you have your wireless phone charging pad here. It is a very big space, so if you have a larger phone, it'll work perfectly fine. SD slot and USB and USB-C slot, which is really nice. Over here, you are going to have some interesting detail here. You got a little storage cubby, so you can use that however you want. Your hazard button here. And over here, you have a storage pocket. So the recording actually failed for some reason for the audio. So the gist of this is that the middle compartment here has a lot of space. You're going to notice there's a cup holders in the back along with the cup holders in the middle. And then if you notice up there, you do have the controls for the sunroof. You got the LED interior lighting, and then you've got your home link. You've got your controls for the power tailgate. And then on top of that, you do have controls for the third row seats you can actually adjust those right from the center stack on the roof which is really really cool but take a look here how you can control the carpet to the panoramic sunroof and look how big that sucker is that thing is huge goes all the way to the second and third rows much needed on the tahoe and then you can see the other controls that you have here as well Got your tilt and slide function on the left hand side. You will have the opening on the right hand side if you want. Like I said, the carpet in the middle. And then there you can see the third row controls right there from the driver. Now, one thing to make note is that just like every car, my favorite thing is here that rear view mirror. It is frameless, but it also has a camera system similar to Range Rovers, so if you want it to be a digital camera, it can do that and it can actually become your screen. I know Chevrolet has been using this for a while. Glad that they still offer it on the brand new 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. One thing I do want to make note of is this center area here is actually power sliding. This button up here, right there, that is not for the sunroof. That one is. This one, you press it, and you can actually slide. Let me turn the car on real quick. You press this bad boy and it slides. What in the world? So we are in the 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe High Country. So this is the trim level that you get if you want something luxurious, quiet, but also muscular and beefy. This thing just means business. It has all the luxurious features that you'd want, nothing you wouldn't want. This thing's got a ton of power. Super, super nice. Now, right off the bat, again, this thing has a new powertrain. So, it's got the familiar 6.2 V8 that was shared with outgoing. Corvette models and also a lot of other models in the lineup, you know, the Silverado, Suburban, etc. But this has the new 10 speed automatic, which feels so much better than the outgoing transmission. 
this thing has so much better predictability which is something that you really want and you feel that it feels higher end which is exactly what a lot of buyers for the Tahoe market want now in addition to that this thing is quiet this car is incredibly I say car this thing is a tank this thing is very quiet okay you don't hear much the only things you really do hear are the AC right now outside of that you don't hear much give it a little bit of beans I mean you can hear a little bit of that V8 but it's not as loud as say like a Corvette or something like that obviously but this thing just sounds amazing and the visibility is fantastic no doubt no matter where you look I mean shoot you can look at that camera all you want which is probably one of my favorite things in the world but this thing wow this one has the fully adaptive suspension so in saying that the suspension feels amazing this thing is very comfortable it's a tank so at the end of the day it eats up pretty much every bump in the road but you're also really up high I mean I'm not gonna lie this thing is huge absolutely massive like this thing is huge um, but let's get to the nitty-gritty so as far as build quality in this thing General Motors has definitely taking taken a step above in terms of quality of materials on the inside so being in the old Tahoe you notice that the design language is more evolutionary rather than revolutionary and it shows but that's not a bad thing you know obviously this is a very very high seller for Chevrolet so they didn't want to fix what wasn't broken essentially just add in a little bit more modern features call it a day again I wish they'd gone with a full digital da uh, tachometer I don't know why they didn't especially for about 81 or 82 thousand as this one uh, is priced out I'm a little bit surprised with that now in the same token the heads-up display is more advanced now it shows you tons of information you know the drive wheels the temperature outside your approach angle all kinds of stuff you can see in the heads-up display alone in addition to that the materials in here the leather that they're using is very nice soft and supple the seats feel very very good you're in a very good driving position I can tell they've definitely done something when it comes to road noise because there's a lot less of it in here the steering feels very tight very direct which is something that you can't really say for a lot of vehicles of this size a lot of the times it's very floaty not in this this 10 speed automatic definitely definitely feels very good it's super responsive and this thing does have a lot of power I mean you put anything north of 400 horsepower in a car like this you definitely can move this thing fuel low yeah you're you're gonna see the gas station kind of often I mean this thing's rated at about 19 highway so it's not that fuel efficient but at the end of the day if you can spend 82,000 on an SUV like this you're not really concerned about fuel economy this thing is all about space power towing capability because this thing can tow up to I think six or seven thousand pounds which is insane technology which they finally got up to speed with on the Tahoe and then in terms of design it looks handsome it it definitely bests the outgoing Tahoe which is what you want now as far as things outside of that outside of build quality how do you feel being in something like this you're making a statement okay when you're in a Tahoe you do make a statement because at the end of the day Tahoe's are pricey vehicles do you get what you pay for I do think so you've got all modern safety features you know all the lane safety you've got the automatic collision avoidance you've got more advanced blind spot technology regarding trailers and things like that so they add in all these safety features to make it competitive in the market and to keep these vehicles safe but at the end of the day if you get in a collision in a Tahoe probably whatever you hit is going to be more hurt than you okay one thing I do want to say is the fact that they finally offered 
a panoramic sunroof means everything to me because I've always said that they've missed the mark by not doing that and they finally did that for this model. So I'm very happy with Chevrolet did that. And then the color on this one, I love this brown. It's like a mocha color brown. It looks very nice. Definitely looks high end. And I love the piping. Everything about this thing is just nice. One thing I will say is the brakes in this thing definitely feel a little on the sluggish side. It takes a little bit for them to get warm up so that way they can grip better. But outside of that, no complaints. I do wish that they used a little less plastic for some of the switch gear and use maybe some satin metal finishes that they use around like the bezel for the vents and things like that. But those are just nitpicky things. I feel like those things can be overlooked for sure. So all in all, this is a very pleasantly riding vehicle. I wholeheartedly do think that. Whoa, let's turn those down. I know that was on auto. Just want to cool down a little bit. But yeah, I truly do feel like this is a very nice SUV. It's a very nice place to be. You got a lot of modern technology. You've got a lot of good attention to details. You know, the high country embossed in the headrest, you know, things like that make a difference when you're buying an SUV like this. You know, the electronic mirror. The electronic mirror in the rear view. It, I mean, few companies have that, yeah, but those are things that not everybody has and it just looks good and it feels good and it makes you feel good about your purchase. Absolutely incredible. So in saying that, I'm going to wrap up this review again. Big shout out to Steve Raymond Chevrolet for lending me this Tahoe. Very grateful for it. If you guys like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Comment down below any cars that you guys might want me to review next. And I can see what I can do about that. Definitely taking requests. So in saying that, I'll see you next time.